Hi community of awesome, I'm Ava J, and this is Bookish Pixie. So as many of you are probably well aware, if you're a writer looking to get traditionally published, you need to get an agent first. Today I want to talk about something that isn't spoken about quite so much, and that's five things writers should know before getting an agent. So here we go. First, agents do not replace critique partners. So here's the thing, whether your agent is an editorial agent or not, meaning an agent who helps you edit or not, because not all agents are, your agent should not be considered your first critique partner. Even after you've signed with your agent and you've gotten to your next manuscript after the one that they signed you with, you need to make sure that that manuscript is the cleanest you can get it before you give it to your agent. Your agent should not be your first pair of eyes looking at your manuscript. Critique partners stick with you after you've gotten an agent because you still need feedback on how to make your manuscript as good as it can be before you send it to your agent. And if you do have an editorial agent, that's awesome, but you still need to give them the cleanest copy you can so that they can help you make it even better. Two, agents can't guarantee to sell everything you write. Signing with an agent doesn't automatically mean that you're going to get a publishing contract. And having an agent sell your first manuscript doesn't necessarily mean that they're absolutely going to be able to sell your second manuscript. Naturally, when an agent takes you on, it means they believe in your manuscript and they believe in you and they believe that they can sell your work. That doesn't mean, however, that they can guarantee you anything. Granted, your chances are much higher than someone who doesn't have an agent, but they can't give you a guarantee. That's just the reality. Three, agents aren't required to love everything you write. This is probably the scariest point for writers because while you know that they love your first manuscript because they signed you for it, you don't know what they think about later manuscripts until after they've read it. Signing with an agent is not a promise that they will love every single thing you write. This thankfully hasn't happened to me so far, but if it does, it's just something I'll have to deal with then. Everyone works a little differently with their agents. Some share ideas before they've written, some share ideas while they're writing, some share ideas after they've written. It really just depends. I always pitch my books to my agent well before she's going to see them, but not necessarily before I've written them because that's just how I work. But the truth is you don't really want your agent to work on a manuscript that they don't love because otherwise they won't really be able to do what's best for it. It should be noted, however, that when an agent signs with you, they sign you because they like your manuscript, but they also sign you because they like your writing. So your chances are hopefully pretty good of them liking your future writing, but again, you never know. Four, you will not be your agent's only client. This kind of seems pretty obvious in a way it is, but the implication I'm really getting at is sometimes you have to be patient with your agent. You need to keep in mind when you sign with an agent that while a good agent is going to do everything they can to give you the attention you need and give you feedback promptly, they probably have 20 to 30 other clients, maybe even more. So you know, they're only human. This might be a little different if you sign with a new agent who doesn't initially have a whole lot of clients, but again, that is not going to last forever because they're going to sign more and more. And number five, you are entering a business relationship. While over time you may eventually become comfortable enough with your agent to speak to them on casual and friendly terms, you have to understand that your relationship with your agent is a professional one. Basically what this means is they do their best when you do your best. When you conduct yourself professionally and you promote yourself online and you write the absolute best books you can, that's when their agent does the absolute best job that they can. Ultimately, they want to get the best deals for you because it's also good for them. But ultimately, they can't do that unless you treat yourself like a professional and you treat your writing like a job because it is. So some of you may be wondering if your agent can't guarantee to sell your book and they can't guarantee to like everything you write, What's the point? The point is this. Agents can give you really valuable career guidance, get your manuscripts in front of people who otherwise would not have seen it, and negotiate contracts so that you get the best deal possible. Agents can help you prioritize your projects and map out a plan for your career. Agents can get your manuscripts in front of editors from big publishing houses who wouldn't have even looked at it if you were not agented. Agents can contact film agents who can then maybe help you sell those rights. Agents know how to negotiate contracts and they know what the fine print should and shouldn't say, and they can use their knowledge to help you get the absolute best deal possible. I signed with my agent a little over a year ago and I'm so very grateful for everything she's done for me. While signing with an agent isn't necessarily for everyone, my goal was to become traditionally published and so I could not be happier with my decision. So that's all I got for today. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe and comment and I'll see you guys next week.